Hi everyone, welcome to the KRIOPS channel, I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to map more complex JSONs. So far we have been using very simple JSON structures, but it can get more complex. You have arrays in, in it, you have all the elements in it, an element inside an element, so it gets more complex, right? So that's very important for us to be able to map uh, an API and, what, and that's what we're going to be doing in the future. Right? more in the future because this is what we have been doing. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications. And I'm also going to be posting the videos from my, um, the links from my previous videos so you can keep it up and understand how, where we, we got so far. So let me show you what I want to map. So if we go into, if we search for pets, which is the next te test that we're going to be creating, you're going to, you, you can search by status, right? And you're going to see a list of, of things. You, you're going to have a name of the pet. You're going to have a category of that pet. You're going to have URLs, uh, photos, links, and you have tags, and you have the, the status of that pet, and then you have other things. So it's it's very important that we are able to map these, right? And how, how we do that? Right? So the first thing that we're going to do, we need to create the actual uh, scenario. Right. So since this is a pet scenario, I'm going to create a new feature called pet. I'm going to copy and paste it just to go faster. Uh, so the feature is manage a pet in the pet store scenario list only available pet for sale. Given that I have pets available, when I search for all pets available, then I receive a list of pets available. Right. Uh, so that's that's very simple. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to implement this. This is going to be for the next video, but I'm going to implement this one just for us to interact with the domain of pets, All right? So I'm going to Alt Enter, create step, create a new file. I'm going to give it a name of uh, pet step definitions. Okay, it inserted in the wrong package. No problem. I'm going to drop it here. And awesome. We're good to go. All right, so we need to map the domain, right? So what we, we need to do is I'm going to create a new class called pet. And the domain you have, we have in a, an ID. I have a name. We also have a category, which I'm going to call pet category. Category, category. Uh, I have a status. And I have a photo URL, which is a list. So I'm going to say this is a list of stream called photo URLs. And this is going to be an arrays, an arrays list. And I'm going to give it, uh, no, no, not, not right now, I'm way ahead. All right, so I'm going to import this. This is a Java tool. And I'm going to create this category because we don't have that class yet. So Create class, yes. Okay, yes. I don't want to add to git now. Awesome, great. But if I have been keeping up, you know that we need to create, be able to create the builder for our test. I right? need to be able to map, uh, to, to create that object real fast and easy without having to come from the feature. I'm going to be posting the link for you to see the whole process. I'm going not going to go uh, very uh, detailed here, but there is a video that's very detailed for you. So I'm going to come here for pet, and I'm going, to, I don't need this, I'm going to start using Lombok. So I'm going to need data. I'm going to need builder. I'm going to need uh, all args constructor. Uh, I don't need this now. Great. And now what I'm going to do, I need to start giving values to my build, to my, to my, to my, to my default values, All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mark Control G for to mark all my privates, so I can I can edit everything real fast, and I'm going to 
put the build default definition here. Right? So this is going to be two. This is going to be pentro. If you watch Thundercats, you know who, who, you can you can Google it too. Uh, this is going to be a new pet category. This is going to be a uh, available, 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 and the photo URL, which was the one that I was already doing, I was I was ahead of myself, was this on as list, and this is going to be URL one and URL two, right? Now I need to do the same thing with pet category, right? Because pet category it has ID and has name, so I'm going to copy and paste here. Right, pet category has ID and has name, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, it needs to have data. It needs to have a builder, right? And the pet category I'm going to give it a one. Uh, leave it two, doesn't matter. And this is a cat because it's a ton of cats. Uh, this is now complaining because of uh, we don't have the constructor until so now I need to give the all args constructor to it and the def the, the usage uh, of Lombok is also to on Java is also to give the non args constructor when you give the all. So I have all our all constructor now. Great, it's not failing anymore. Now I can use this, right? I can come here and I can say, all right, we have a pet called pet that is a pet that we're going to build it. Great, I'm going to give a uh, printout just to, to be able to debug. And I'm going to execute this in the debug mode. Oh, I use the receive. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it actually does because it failed the first one. So I'm going to create here and I'm just going to pass this here and delete this. Awesome. I'm going to rerun the test. So now I have ID, I have Pentro, I have my category of cats, I have the status, I have the photo URLs. Great. But also it's very important for us to see this as a JSON because how this is going to be mapped as a JSON, I'm really not sure. I'm, I want to make sure that this is actually like this. So here is what we're going to do, right? So I'm going to use uh, Jacksons to, to map a object into a JSON to do the serialization, right? So I'm going to need to have a object mapper. It needs to be the Jackson ob object mapper, not, so let me show this again to you, not the rest assured one. It needs to be the Jackson one. Right, so I'm going to give a name object mapper. This is a new object mapper. And I'm going to say that a string JSON is going to be is going to be a mapper, object mapper, object mapper dot write the value to string, write the object value uh, to string. So this is going to be our pet object. Right, this is complaining because it either needs a try catch or a signature, so I'm going to go with the signature. Now I can print my pet, and I'm going to rerun the test, but not in debug mode. You're going to see that it printed, uh, so not my pet, my JSON. Rerun again. It's going to print in JSON format. And I'm going to bring uh, Visual Studio Code because I can make this JSON pretty. There you go. So we have the same thing here. We have ID. We have the name. We have the category with the items. We 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 skip the tag because we're going to be using. Uh, we going to, we need to be able to to ignore a couple of things. And I'm going to use tags uh, as a ignore example. We have also the status and the photo URL. Awesome, right? So um, another thing that we going to do, we can do, 
is uh, so this pet category it's very small only two attributes I don't really need more than that here and I don't think I need the extra class just for that if this would be like a B class with uh, functionalities in it then it would make sense in that case I would create a new package in the domain called pet and that package would have all my pet classes but in this case what I'm going to do here, I'm going just to copy this and I'm going to come here and I'm going to insert a Java class inside another class. But for this to work, this class needs to be static. All right. And now I can remove this. And now this is a category. Uh, and yeah, I need to remove this. Not that I need to. But now, since this is inside pet, I don't need to name it pet category. It can be just category because it's the category of the pet. All right? So I'm not using this class anymore. Uh, I can delete this now. All right? Cool. So I'm going to rerun my test and I'm going to call this uh, Shitara. I think that's how. Uh, you will spell another character of that show. I'm going to rerun my test. I'm going to copy everything. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to make it pretty. And then you have Shitara here and everything else the same. So, so now we have a way to map a more complex JSON uh, with the full values in our, in our structure, which is amazing, right? So, folks, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications. If you like the video, give the thumbs up. And this is really important because uh, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. Uh, and one of the things that it uses is the thumbs up. Uh, and it's going to help me spread uh, this knowledge to other folks and also to uh, improve and uh, make my channel bigger. Right? Thank you. I appreciate it. And I see you on next video.